Hi guys, how are you today? I hope you're all doing well. I hope today was a successful and productive day. Well, I am just here just to talk a little bit about all the stuff that's going on and um, the craziness that's still lingering on. It's never ending. Trust me, it's never ending. Um, well, you know, with the COVID-19 upon us and we are in lockdown again, phase one lockdown. We're in here and uh, it's no fun. It's no fun. I thought we'd be over this. We'd be further along, not going backwards, but yet again, we are tossed into phase one. And uh, I guess after phase one, they're going to put us back in phase two. Phase three, I don't know where this is going because it's just a whole bunch of ludicrousy. Um, today, I read that Australia's largest airline have mandated that in order to travel, you will have to get the vaccine. You have to be vaccinated or you will not be able to travel on that airline. So... You know what's going to happen now? Um, all other airlines are going to follow suit. And um, we're not going to be able to travel unless we are vaccinated. So we are going to be forced to get vaccination if you want to travel. And that's it. You know, our rights have been taken away slowly but surely. They have stripped us piece by piece by piece. And now we are left with nothing but to comply to whatever it is that they say. And if you notice, every country has the same instructions. There's no one country that is thinking independently. It's all you're taking orders from the World Health Organization. World Health Organization say lock down again, we won't lock down because what they're doing is they're taking all the numbers of people that are just sick, regular sick, um, people that just have regular flu or cold, anything that's wrong with you, they're saying that you have COVID-19 and they're getting those stats and they're publicizing these stats and getting people in a frenzy that the covid um, virus is just spreading like wildfire when in fact people are just sick with other things. So, and so they are bringing the numbers to us and people are getting frightened, people are getting scared and of course that's exactly what they want because when people are frightened and scared then they will usher in the vaccine and you will run and take that vaccine because you are so livid of this coronavirus. And so you're just going to take it. Not going to think about it. Not going to think what's the big agenda because there is an agenda. There is nothing like this. It, it There is an agenda. The vaccine is here so fast. Normally it takes five years for a regular flu shot to come out and be approved by the FDA. This has taken like, what, 10 months? nonsense you cannot come up with a flu vaccine in 10 months impossible impossible and so this has been planned a long time ago this has been in the works this has been done a long time approve everything so when you're telling us that vaccine is ready the vaccine has been ready the vaccine the vaccine has been ready before the virus actually came out unto us here. The vaccine had been about. But they want to play it as if the vaccine was just developed and they're trying to test it and whatever not. The vaccine has been ready for a long time. So my friends don't even believe when they say, oh, the vaccine just came out. No, it's been, a, it's been ready. It's been in the lab for a long time. And this is part of compelling us and getting us to conform to whatever it is agenda that they have but they know their agenda and they just want the world to conform 
Well, it seems like people don't have a mind of their own. People can't think and understand. In Toronto, there's a gentleman that had his restaurant open today. Even though we are in lockdown, they say no restaurant. And, you know, if it, if you're in a restaurant, I think it's like 10, whatever. I'm not sure if on the patio or where, but 10. And um, businesses are going to go under. Businesses are going to go under. There is no way a small mom and pop business can withstand all what's going on. They're not going to withstand. So they say businesses have got to close. So tell me why. Big stores don't have to close also. If the little mom and pop store has to close, why don't the big store close? Why don't Walmart close down? Hmm? They're big, giant stores. Let them close too. Everybody, if, if the small man has to close, let everybody close. Everybody got to go home. Simple as that. Not some what's good for the goose should be good for the gander. And not the other way around where... No, it's not good for them. No, everybody's under the same rule. But even though more people think that they are more powerful than the rest of us because they have a few dollars, and I guess money gives them that power. However, however, I will not pay attention to people like that. My attention is we need to get through this COVID-19 and this virus protection that they're gonna try to give to us because that will definitely kill us and at some point it will definitely kill us it has not been researched properly it's just a fly-by-night thing that they come up with so we're going to see what's going to happen when people start refusing to take the vaccine they're going to get canceled what concentration camps and put us in the one that doesn't want to do the vaccine. We're going to go in concentration camp. And that's exactly what it means. And until you decide to conform, you'll be in this little location. Smelly, stinky. That's where you're going to be. So think twice about rebelling and retaliating. Because they have a game plan. Alright? They have a game plan. And that, game, and that game plan is to get us all in a pen. <laughs> all in a pen and let us obey and conform to the new regulation that's coming. And it's going to be a new world. New world, one government system, one money, one kind of currency. And that's basically it. The world will no longer be what we know it to be. It's going to change and it's going to change. Forever. Not going to change just for a little bit. It's going to change forever. So people, get ready for big changes. It's coming. There's no stopping it. We can't stop it. We cannot stop it. We just have to go with the flow and see what's happening. The vaccine is here. Mandatory vaccination will be taking place because I heard President Trump say that. He's got um the vaccine and they're talking about the army and all these things so you know what that means you know what that means so all i can tell you is best wishes good fortune go be good to yourself be good to someone else and make someone smile in this world we need to help others smile because a lot of people are having a hard time and they don't know what to do they are stumptified and so I wish you all the best and I will see you on another video. Take care now and you be good to yourself. Bye-bye.